It is time for Tech Tuesday. Okay, this week we're talking about an interesting question. Mm -hmm. Could the pizza delivery man soon become a thing of the past? Domino's Pizza is testing out a new service in one Texas neighborhood. Plus, Google helping to prevent injuries caused by distracted walking. Joining us live to break down all these tech headlines is our tech expert, Greg Nibbler. Greg, uh, first, I guess we're going to be talking about this Google thing. I am guilty this, of this. Oh, I am so guilty of this. Like, have totally walked into polls and other things because of this. <laughs> yeah, you are not the only one. I have to say I am 100% just as guilty of this. And it's kind of Google's way of reminding people of looking up from your phone, not looking down at it while you're walking around. So it's part of this digital well-being program they've had going for a while. There's a few different things on that platform just to kind of give you an idea of how much time you're on your phone, what time you spend on which apps. So it's sometimes disheartening, but also I guess good to know some of these things. And this is part of this that's rolling out. So it's called Heads Up. And it's exactly that. It's when you walk out the door and you're looking at your phone, it will give you a notification that says, hey, pay attention to your surroundings. Maybe you shouldn't be looking down at the ground. And it's going to be rolling out to Pixel phones at first. So you will have to have one of those. But I imagine it's going to go wide everywhere else as well. But it's a good reminder, just even if you don't have this service, to just think about it. Because there are so many issues and accidents that happen from people walking into phone poles, walking into doors. I myself have walked into a glass door before because of this. I will admit <laughs> it. Learn from my mistakes. I don't do that. Uh, the idea of digital health, I guess, digital well-being. Yeah, I mean, I've, I've seen people like in a crosswalk on their phone, oh, you know, yeah. just not even, and there's cars. It, it could be dangerous, but yeah. I, I always get um, frustrated when my iPhone gives me the weekly Weekly screen time report. Here's how many yeah. hours a day you spend on your phone. I don't want to know. Yeah. I don't Maybe know. I just accidentally left it on that app yeah. and then set it down. <laughs> did, did you though? No. Right. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> ignorance is just better. Right. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Ignorance is bliss. No, but I do think this is a, a good reminder for everyone to, you know, take in the world around you sometimes. Uh, okay. This is a this is an interesting one though. Technology helping to deliver pizza. Domino's is testing a new autonomous vehicle. Yeah, so this is from a company, so it's a company called Neuro that makes the autonomous vehicle. And they've been kind of testing it out in California for a while in Houston. Usually warmer weather places is where a lot of this is going on because they don't have the weather factors uh, that come in. But now it's official that Neuro, which it makes, uh, has the little vehicle there, is going to be delivering Domino's Pizza to start off with Houston. But I would imagine this is going to be rolling out more places as well. So it's um, essentially this, if you order a pizza from this specific Domino's, you'll have the choice uh, during certain times of the day where you'll have this autonomous vehicle show up. So there is nobody controlling this, completely autonomous. It uh, shows up, if you are one of the people who orders on it, you'll get a code and it has a screen on it. You type in the code, it opens up and there's your pizza magically inside of this little machine. But these things are gonna be driving around on the streets of Houston. Um, it, I think it's kind of a, a sign of the times to come as we start to see more approval of these. Uh, right now, you know, like I said, warmer weather states, but eventually this is going to be up here too, where we're going to be seeing this kind of rolling around on the, on the streets with it. But it's it's pretty cool technology. They have tested it out a lot. So it's not like it's just rolling out without any tests, but pretty cool to see where it's going. It's not quite the drone uh, burrito delivery that I want. That to me is the epitome <laughs> of where it can go. Uh -huh. But Pizza via an autonomous vehicle, that's still pretty cool. Well, yeah. does this one, does it drive the actual speed limit? Because I'm thinking, like, am I going to get stuck, stuck behind, behind, like, I a pizza golf cart we here? Like, that. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a good point. Yeah, I think they, uh, they're limited on how fast they can go, and they do go on side streets. So I suppose it is possible you could get stuck behind somebody's pizza as you're, as you're heading home if you're on the right street. Okay. Yeah. I just think you probably can save on the tip. You don't have to tip this thing. That's you know? true. Yeah. That's true. Pop it open, get your pizza. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Hey, uh, there's uh, some pretty cool video of a brain implant in a monkey. What, what, what is this all about? <laughs> yeah, I know that sounds made up, but it is true. So this is from a company called Neuralink, and it's actually another company that Elon Musk helped co-found. Um, their whole goal is to create human brain interfaces. And so it sounds like the stuff out of sci-fi. Eventually their goal is, they, they say that the goal is to actually help people who are maybe paralyzed, help them walk again. The idea that you could actually think in text like that. And this is a demonstration of their technology. So it's a, a monkey. They put a brain implant in it. Um, and then it's a chip. They read the information that it had. And long story short, there's a lot of science, but 
the monkey plays Pong just by thinking. Like the old school Pong video game, it thinks it and it just moves the paddle and actually controls the entire video game. That's what the video is demonstrating, just the fact that they were able to map out those neurons in the brain and use that tech. So it's it's pretty impressive, you know, assuming all of this is accurate as the video uh, says. Um, also a little unnerving, but it's the idea that that's where we're going. One of the things that they said is their, their goal is to make a Fitbit for the brain. That's what their Neuralink would be, where you put a little chip in and then you can control things with your mind. I don't know how many people are gonna do that. I don't know if any, either of you would do this, but that's where they're heading with. What, would we get a chip in our brain to yeah. control things like this? <laughs> no? I think that answers my question. It's, just, <laughs> it's, it's weird. I mean, that's like... Well, my first thought was, does this mean that someday I could actually understand what my dog is trying to tell me? Because oh, if I can talk to my dog, an idea. I might do it. Yeah. That's, that's a good point. Yeah, there has been talk about that, you know, decoding language of animals. So that's actually something I, I swear that actually has been researched. Oh my almost. gosh. So okay. maybe. Okay. Elon Musk. Very, yeah. very creepy, but yeah. I guess kind of cool. Okay. I'm talking about the dino <laughs> creating dinosaurs earlier this week. Yeah, oh boy. He's, he's all over the place. Yeah. All right. Well, all uh, always good to hear your tech wisdom, Greg. Have a good day.